All right, so this is the difference in uh, 202 ball speed on the bottom and 221 ball speed on the top. This is me in 2017 uh, versus me currently. Uh, one difference here is that I'm swinging a 48-inch driver in the top one and a 45-inch driver in the bottom one. Um, just having trouble uh, get, getting any uh, speed gains with the 45, 48-inch, so I've been swinging the, the shorter one here. But So we already know what uh, what happens on the takeaway. I'm taking it outside and lifting. Let's see what happens here. Boom! That's a beautiful core connection here on the on the backswing. Like that a lot. Okay, we'll go waist high there. Yeah, so you can see I'm turning a lot more around my uh, my body at this point. Um, then still just going straight up in that one. This one I turn around and then I go up. We'll get to the highest point here. Okay, so it looks like uh, looks like I'm a lot more loaded in the uh, in the hip on this uh, top one here. I've I've come off the uh, tush line a little little bit, but uh, nowhere near as severe as um, what I did on uh, this bottom swing here. So I'm into my toes and lifting as opposed to, uh, you know, that core connection and turn. Let's go to the first engagement with the ground here. First engagement with the ground here. Boom, okay, so... Yeah, you can see my uh, back knee on the bottom one is a little more towards the ball. I'm a little more into my toes already, whereas the back one, I am um, into the hips. I've got my hips a little further open, and shoulders are a little further closed there, so I'm getting that uh, nice separation. Let's go on parallel there. Okay. So, some, right here, I start to kind of get rid of that back extension there, get into the core, but it's more of a, um, it's more of a kind of oblique squeeze than it is, you know, a total uh, uh, pelvic shift and turn from the hips, where the top one, um, I'm doing that, but I'm really turning through the hips hard. All right, coming down here. So here, similar positions, but uh, I'm a little further back in the hip in the top one. Um, I've got, you know, it looks like I've got you know, a little more power from the ground on that back foot and I'm rotating around my right foot as opposed to just kind of getting up onto the toes. Down in the impact here. You can see I'm turning really, really hard here through impact. Everything's staying a little bit, you know, pretty level. And this one here. I'm just kind of on the toes and you know it's pretty square there post post impact but right after that you can see that flip whereas this one I'm just completely rotating through the ball so those are some of the differences I see um I'm sure that we can uh, get back to, to how I was swinging before. I'm going to be working on the core connection and uh, swinging today, keeping that butt back. But, uh, yeah, the more we can uh, sort it out in the gym and the prep exercises, the, the better.